and welcome back. My name is Holiday Doc, and today I've got a Black Ops competitive playlist gameplay for you. Back in the heat of the shit, where it pretty much all began. Well, not really, but you know, it was the most popular time as far as my YouTube channel goes. And this kid gets dicked on real hard to start the video off, making me look good. Gotta get that YouTube money. But that's not what this uh, commentary is about. I recently tweeted, hinted at a fantastic story of attempted murder, hit and run, and just blatant stupidity that uh, my co-workers managed to get themselves into a few weekends ago. And it was just way too involved to tweet about it. So I figured I'd do a commentary. I'm a little bit late, but eh, I'm a busy guy. Gotta work, gotta put food on the table. So I hope you guys will stick around and enjoy the story that is about to unfold before your ears. And I just want to clarify that all people in this story are innocent until proven guilty. And these are all alleged activities. I do not have... <laughs> I don't have any proof of what actually went down, and I was not physically there to witness it. All I have is the accounts of the six co-workers uh, that came in to work last Monday and uh, told everybody about it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, basically, buddies all went to this uh, uh, popular spot here in Calgary. It's very sleazy, and it's, it's fight central. It really is. And uh, when you work with a bunch of construction slash just young guys, it's, it's like they go to these places looking for a fight. You know, like they, they want to go smash some heads in and, you know, put some work in and, you know, be tough, be macho, you know, be boys, <laughs> essentially, right? So anyways, um, we got five guys. They all go to this bar uh, and trouble started breaking out. One of the youngest guys started dancing with some girl, and uh, his boyfriend didn't like it. So they started pushing him around, and all the co-workers just jumped on this kid like white on rice. The guy had no chance. He was just, as soon as everybody uh, went up to him, he was like, Oh, never mind, sorry, my bad. Dance with my girlfriend, doesn't matter. Yep, here, have her, basically. And uh, that kind of ended. But then, you know, the bouncers kind of took it a little bit further and kicked everybody out. Well, that just incited rage into the populace. Right? You know, bouncers getting into shit, you know, want to start shit, got to be tough. So they kicked them out. And now everything is just going nuts outside. You know, people are pissed, literally drunk out of their heads. Decision making not at its finest. So we've got one one of my coworkers kind of over uh, starting shit with the bouncers. His old lady's mouthing off to the bouncers. Well, somehow, the old, uh, his, his, his girlfriend got pushed down to the ground by a bouncer. That seems kind of, you know, oh, look at that perfect jump off the cliff there. That, you know, that doesn't really seem logical. You know, why would they push a girl down? That just seems stupid. So that just incites rage into the group of coworkers. Now, now they got a point to prove. Shit's going down. Somebody's going to get knocked the fuck out. However, the one guy... It is not the biggest, and uh, he's about 140 pounds soaking wet. Bouncers, 6'1", 6'2", 250, 300. Hey, it's a lose-lose situation for him. But we have this one guy at work who is built like a brick shit house. Literally, the dude works out so much. It's just, it's insane. And he's very dangerous looking, and he never loses fights. And him and another coworker sitting there just minding their own business don't really want to get involved, they're just watching shit go down while uh, the other guys want to fight or fight, you know. And all of a sudden, big burly ass bouncer looking motherfucker comes up and sucker punches one of the guys right in the side of the head. And he turns and he says, what the fuck was that for? And then boom, he gets hit again, twice. So the big guy works out lots, he's finally had enough and he looks at the rest of the bouncers and he looks at the bouncer that punched his buddy in the face and he says, all right, me and you one-on-one, -on -one, is that okay? He gets permission from the bouncers. Yes, go for it. They're laughing. They think he's going to get his ass kicked because he's only about 
five foot nine, five foot eight, maybe. And this guy, six two, easy, huge guy. So they square off, and my buddy, one hit tools the bouncer out, fucking demolishes his jaw, falls like a sack of potatoes, and shit just went nuts. All the bouncers now have thrown the law out of the way, and they're just jumping this guy. They kick him to the ground and they start curb stomping him hardcore. Just fucking hardcore, just going to town. Guys, <laughs> guy's head must be thick as fuck because he gets up from the pile, man, somehow he gets up out of the pile, and he starts walking away like, holy fuck, I can't believe I just survived. Checking himself for stab wounds, making sure he can get stabbed in the whole pile, and uh, he manages to get away. But in the front of this place, there's a huge brawl going down. And another co-worker decides to get in his car while he's completely wasted. Time's almost up. And he tries to escape the scene. And he plows through an entire crowd of people. We're talking like pylons flying over the windshield type shit. Security Just Charlie. crazy. But he's still in the hospital that got it the worst. And co-worker is, is still fleeing. Uh, not really sure what's All going on there, but shit the is crazy. I want to know your guys' opinion. You know, is what what type of charges do you think done. should happen Good to the guy? Yeah, is it was it okay for him to try and flee? Was he afraid for his life? Who really knows? The stories are all out there. We do know that there's surveillance video that they're gonna pull, and we do know that uh, there's attempted manslaughter for sure. And it's just crazy. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little story. Give you something to do. Hope you enjoyed the competitive commentary as well. I love playing uh, Black Ops. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, take care. My name's Holiday Doc, and I'm out of here.